So the Prophet وسلم, was resting in the afternoon in one of the chambers. We don't know which one, but he was, he was resting. And he was having a siesta. Now these Bedouin of the Banu Tamim, this delegation, they came. And they did what the Arab delegations would do. They used to have a custom and a tradition. So what was the custom of these Bedouin Arabs? They would arrive in a large party if they were ever visiting a ruler or a king or another tribal leader. And then they would, as I said earlier, they would have in their delegation poets and orators. So they would come, they would meet, greet. Then they would have what we call a mufakhara and a musha'ara. Mufakhara means mutual boasting. So the, an orator would stand from one of the tribes and extol the virtues of his tribe. We are like this, we are like that. And what would their virtues be? They used to speak about war, battles, spears, arrows, wine, women, drink, goats, camels, horses. Now, we may, and then the other tribe would speak as well. We own so many camels. These are our horses and steeds. This is how fast they are in racing. This is how we charge on our steeds in warfare. This is how brave we are. And again, they'd speak about bows, arrows, spears, and swords. Now, we may find this very strange, but we don't change. This is human nature. And today we do exactly the same. We, we have these rap songs where all they speak about are drugs, wine, women, cars, rides, glocks, guns. And that's all they speak about. There's no difference whatsoever. This is the rap of today, the poetry, and that was a rap in the poetry of that day. And as I've explained before, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu, we are accustomed to hearing poetry in English and in Urdu and in modern Arabic as being very slow. But originally it wasn't slow. That's why Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu heard someone, someone told him that we recite the Qur'an this quickly and we complete it in this way. So Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu said, Haddan kahadd shi'r. No. He says that is the wrapping of the wrapping of poetry. Why? We can only understand that, his words, when we realize that the Arabs, the way they would originally recite poetry is wrapping by spitting verses. In fact, the Prophet Sallallahu Abdullah ibn Mas'ud himself relates that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would say, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajeem min hamzahi wa nafkhihi wa nafthi that I seek refuge and protection in Allah from the accursed and rejected devil. I seek refuge in him. Min hamzahi wa nafkhihi wa nafthih from his touch, which is madness. Wa nafkhih from his inflating, which is pride. Wa nafthih and from his spitting. So I seek the refuge of I seek refuge in Allah and His protection from the spitting of the accursed devil. So what was the spitting? Abdullah ibn Masood said, poetry. So they used to spit verses just like we spit verses today. That was the original poetry. So the Arabs they would spit poetry very rapidly, that was their rap of the day, and this is all they would speak about. Warfare, armory, weapons, rides, steeds, horses. And then they would have orators, and the orators would stand up and boast of their virtues and extol their virtues, and the poets would speak. So this was a tradition. So the Banu Tamim, when they came to the Prophet wasallam, being unrefined Bedouin, Remember, most of them weren't Muslim at that time. They arrived in the masjid, and it was afternoon time. The Prophet ﷺ was asleep. They shouted out, all of them in unison, very loudly. They began shouting, Ya Muhammad, ukhruj ilayna. Oh Muhammad, come out to us. Oh Muhammad, come out to us. Come out to us. 
And then the leader began saying that our praising is an ornament and our disparaging and our satire is a debasing and humiliation. What he meant is that, come out to us, we wish to do mufakhara with you, i.e. boast. We want to boast, we want to hear your boasts. And we want, we want to recite poetry to you, we want to hear your poetry. And our poetry, when we praise someone, then that is true praise. But if we satirize someone, then they will be humiliated. So the Prophet ﷺ arose from his sleep. He was disturbed by them. And then he came out. And he said to them that, do not say that. That your praising is praise indeed. And your satirizing is humiliation indeed. That only belongs to Allah. 